I'm uh, Torger Vasvik and I'm from uh, far north Norway. I'm a Sami and we are the indigenous uh, people in Norway, Sweden, Finland and Russia. And I'm an uh, artist. I'm uh, doing music and the main thing is the Sami Yoik. If you sing a song, you sing about a woman or you sing about a flower, place in the nature. But when you are doing a yoik, you are the subject. You are not yoiking about, you are. That's the main difference between the other kind of vocal expressions. The yoik is a very, very old tradition. It's going back 30,000 years in, and it's been used uh, unbroken uh, from that time. We ha haven't had any instruments. For sure, we had the drum. So, of course, the, the drum has been, uh, been used together with the yoik. But uh, as far as we know, there was a flute uh, that you can made by uh, a plant called fadno in the beginning of, of, of the summer when it's fresh you can use it and make a flute of it this have been used but the rest of the year it has been the nature that have been the instrument to the yoik and the yoik is imitating sounds in nature and are have been uh, making music together with the uh, nature the yoik is really connected to the to the ritual activity and uh, it's like this you call shamanism. It's not a religion, it's more a personal uh, way to, to come in contact with your inner thing. And yeah, I have some of this experience and this always colored my life after it. So it's present in all, all everything I'm doing and, and especially in the music because my music comes from this state of mind. When I grow up, it was where I come from, 
no one was Sami because the Sami culture is totally dead there. Even the language is gone there because it's been very hard uh, assimilation politics and, uh, and the parents learned that if you if you learn your children Sami, they will never success in the Norwegian society. So it was uh, just uh, a little part of, of the Sami people who still have uh, the language. My mother told me that when I was like two years old, I have this uh, knowledge about that I was a Sami or, or I want to be a Sami or things like that. Yeah. yeah. In um, early May, there, there is the reindeer herder are coming to to our area, and and uh, it's a lot of reindeer there the whole summer and, and until October. So the reindeer herder was was there, and I was very curious child they say I was where I was listening to what the, what the old people say and I find this very interesting I, I think it tricks me to go in this direction it started to come out of me when I was in my teenage this when I was out in the nature it started to, to come yoik. I start to use my uh, my voice and, and uh, like uh, connecting to the Yoik approach. And uh, I have been doing music since I was nine years, so I always have tried to, to play and try to make pieces and things like that. <laughs> So I was very early interested in, in the throat singing from Tuva and uh, Siberia, and I find it very uh, it fits very good to, to the yoik. And that's have been a part of my expression. This thing, so the yoik and use throat singing as a, some kind of effect on the top of it. a Swedish uh, guy who was uh, working in the railway, building the railway in Sweden. And he, he moves a lo lot in, in the uh, Sápmi area. And he was very, very interested in the Joik. And for, for in the first time he, he learned Joik and, and learned them, he could play it on a violin. But as, as fast as this uh, Vox uh, you can record on on the Vox, uh, some, and uh, and he did that when it came this uh, technology. He he buy it and and he, he recording between five and six, uh, seven hundred uh, different pieces, 
and I have been listening to this and this is have been very important for me as an aesthetic uh, thing uh, when I'm making new pieces. <laughs>